the seatbelt will not prevent you from breaking your neck, correct? Seatbelts certainly reduce the risk of injury, but it cannot prevent injury. And you know that. Sure. Now, let's look at the Malibu. Three-point seatbelt, correct? Yes. Now, let's mm -hmm. see what happens here. Goes to the side. That's one get. See the deformation of the roof? I do. Okay, slow it down. Go ahead. And see the dynamic, and then the, it goes back. That comes in. Hold it right there. See that? That's deformation, isn't it, Doctor? Yes. All right. Now, paralysis happens when something goes into the spinal canal, correct? Right. So you could break your neck, but if nothing interferes with the spinal canal, no problem. You know, you're not paralyzed, correct? Sure. All right. So if you break your neck by hitting the roof, the worst thing that we could do immediately after is move the neck, correct? Well, you, you've kind of mischaracterized it because you're not breaking your neck from hitting the roof. You're really impacting the ground through the roof. Sure, let's use your term. You impact the ground through the roof in your Ford Aerostar van with the seatbelt on, without any warnings telling me that if I get in the Aerostar van with my seatbelt on, I could break my neck. And it impacts the ground and immediately a millisecond later, right? The blink of an eye. It's a millisecond. No. Deformation, correct? No, no, it doesn't happen that How quickly does it happen? Well, typically the neck loads happen... No, this. This deformation. Okay, I was getting there. Um, the neck loads that we saw in our test happened within 10 to 20 milliseconds. The deformation of the roof continues on to, you know, 80, 100, 120 milliseconds later. What does that translate to seconds? Well, there's a thousand milliseconds in a second, so it's one twentieth of a second. One twentieth of a second. How long does it take me to blink my eye? About 250 milliseconds. So how many times do I have to blink my eyes before that happens? Well, it depends on how fast you're blinking on my suppose, but... Blink them enough. It's pretty quick, yes. Like that? Yes. Right? Like I dream of Jeannie? Remember that? I remember that show, yes. Yeah, blink of an eye. That's what happens immediately after that. Correct? Well, it's, it's quick in terms of a second, but when you're looking at how fast the neck load occurs, it's later in time. Less than a second? Yes. That happens. Whack. Right? No. No, what's happening here, and you can see right. because that's the ground through the window, is the vehicle is stopped on the ground. Yes, ma'am. And the dummy's head is in contact with the roof. See the roof moving? Go ahead. Next. See that? Yeah, it's... it's uh, is that, is that an illusion? It is, because, oh, it is. because uh -huh. the camera is mounted to the vehicle, so the camera is uh -huh. moving with the vehicle. I see. But so, you can remember, can we stop the uh-huh, I see when she's... she's oh, so, is that an objection? It is an objection. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right, so the, uh, the, uh, the uh, pillar here, moving the dummy's head all the way to the side, and the roof crush here is an illusion. Right, because you can see the ground through the window. That pillar is stopped on the ground. The dummy's head is against the pillar. And as the rest of the vehicle travels in that path of motion, it produces the deformation. Mm. Next one, please. And that uh, tenth pillar here is an illusion? No, that's deformation to the pillar. See this dummy moving? I do. No tethers on that dummy, right? No, just the three-point seat belt. See that? Deformation, right? Yes. 